back, still to come, legendary comedian Bobby Ball on going back to his northern roots. But first, it's time to introduce you to our dream team of doctors. Every Wednesday, they'll be opening their clinic and the casebook with advice on everything from hemorrhoids to hair loss, snoring to sweating. That's put you off your custard creams and your cup of tea, and <laughs> really. No problem, too small. Please welcome GP Dr Anita, dietitian Lucy Jones, and plastic surgeon Dr Dick Kramer. Dirk Kramer. <laughs> Dick. Dr. Dirk, I should know you by now, not Dr. Dr. Dick Kramer, Dr. Dirk. Introduce yourselves. Anita, what do you do? I'm a GP, yep. so I deal with anything from hair loss to hemorrhoids, as you say. <laughs> so hopefully I can help um, answer any of the audience's questions today. Lucy? I'm a dietitian, and we tend to take uh, nutrition and health information and we translate it into food advice for everybody. Mm -hmm. I Dirk. told you, I warned you, I'd be back. You won't the audience, I'm sure remember yeah. from last season. I'm the resident plastic surgeon here on the show, and I will advise women and men on all topics, aesthetics, where Lucy and Dr. Anita can't help anymore. Right, so you're the one with the sharp knife, <laughs> really. <laughs> to the subject of our first patient, not all mothers as lucky as the Duchess of Cambridge. She made her transition from pregnancy to, you know, look at this. It's astonishing, isn't it, really, Anita, what she's managed She to looks do. incredible, and um, on the back of that, I've had lots of patients coming to me saying, how can I look as good as this after mm. I've had a baby? I mean, as a GP, I always say to people, you know, enjoy being a mum. Actually, don't rush back into trying to get back into shape, but follow a healthy diet, exercise, get out there with your buggy. That's great exercise. I don't know if you've ever pushed a buggy around town, but it really works your muscles. I'm pushing get, it for the second time around. Your heart rate up. So that's good. But also, there are lots of other things that we, um, we can advise mm. in terms of nutrition. Yep. Yeah, so the first and foremost, no crash diets. All the evidence suggests it won't work. Any weight you lose, you'll quickly put it back on. And actually, it could affect your health and the health of your baby, particularly if you're breastfeeding. Right. The evidence says that you can exercise 45 minutes a day, four times a week, and reduce your calories by 500 a day after the first month and safely not affect your breast milk. So just, you're going to need your energy. Don't be silly about it, is the answer. Well, our patient today is Malika, and she's been struggling to get her mummy tummy to bounce back. Please welcome Malika. <laughs> You're suddenly there, weren't you? I had trouble with a donkey yesterday doing that. <laughs> you say you've got trouble. What's the problem, Malika? What, what? Oh, I, I scratched a lot when I was pregnant. Oh. So I've got all these stretch marks and they won't go. Oh, and a lot of extra skin. So, first of all, Malika, you've got a beautiful body. You have nothing to worry about, but all, your, all of your concerns are really common with women. As we said, healthy diet, exercise, but if that hasn't worked, then we've got lots of fabulous things available in the high street for women to use. So, the first thing, I don't know if you've seen one of these. These are the post-baby corsets. Celebrities like Jessica Alba are raving about these. What do you think of this, Dr. Dirk? Oh, it reminds me of Melon Rouge. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks quite sexy, steady. but this is good it's for those barely your past three. <laughs> baby tummy, instant yeah. slimming effect, but it also helps to get those rectus abdominis muscles that separate when you're pregnant back together again quicker. Well, Malika, you see, if you had your top pulled down, nobody would know. It's, is it the visual? It's for me. The I can see it. When I sit down, yeah. you can see it really bad. So stretch marks. Mark. <laughs> Diet, Lucy. What about... What well, Malika, eating? this represents a perfect meal for you at the moment. Mm. So, <laughs> the diet best for you is also the diet best for your baby. Some nutrients go straight from what you've eaten straight into your breast milk. So, the oily fish is giving your, brain, your baby's brain development what it needs from the essential fatty acids, but it's also great for skin health. You have mm. to keep your energy levels up, and that comes from whole grains. And then, you need all those vitamins, the minerals, the antioxidants, all of that's really important in skin health and in general health, and you get that from plenty of fruits and yeah. vegetables, nuts and seeds. Now, it, have you tried, Malika, dieting? I mean, is, is this news to you, this kind no. of eating? I, I haven't tried dieting because I'm kind of skinny and I want to gain weight, but I just want to lose my stomach. Well, eat more, it'll get fatter. It'll, 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 it'll elasticate it, it won't. It's true. It might stretch more. It's true. Yeah, what would your, be your solution? Well, first of all, let's point out, she is beautiful, and I think the audience agrees that a exactly. young mother with a little child you is always beautiful. Worry. We don't care about these extra pounds at the beginning. Enjoy the time with the baby mm -hmm. and let time pass by. Six, twelve months. Give it a time to recover your body, and then if you still are not happy, you How see me. How long ago is it since you had a baby? Um, my daughter is twenty months now. 
20 months. Uh, yeah. but that's yeah. a good time. No, no, that's a reasonable time. And I think the stretch marks she does like, they're not going to go away what anymore. What can you do about the stretch marks then, Dr. Dirk? Well, actually, we could uh, do a fractional, a fractional laser treatment, which is FDA approved as the only laser who can treat the stretch marks. It's four sessions. 30 minutes, mm. um, and it definitely improves up to 75% so the it, look it of stretch will marks. Work, yeah. Loose skin, maybe quickly, um, mm. which she doesn't like, then she needs a tummy tuck. Maybe yeah. she gets away with a mini tummy tuck or the whole tummy tuck. Do tummy tuck. What's this bit of equipment that so you've got? So here we've got here. lots of special things on here. Actually, starting at very basic creams like creams like the Mamma Mia range, which is designed for pregnant women and women after pregnancy. Vitamin E oils, bio oil, all of these products actually aim to put moisture and strength back into the skin mm. and help to heal the skin so mm. to reduce and fade stretch marks. If that doesn't work, we've got something called the Derma Roller. It looks pretty scary. It's basically yeah. a roller with lots of needles on it. Mm. And uh, we'll let Alan have a look. Oh, well, they're very fine little needles. I know. There, so the idea is Ow. that we roll oh, this sorry. over your skin and we make little puncture marks over the areas where you have the stretch marks. Mm. That forces the skin to then heal itself. And the idea is that after a couple of treatments, the stretch marks will fade. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe something you can consider mm. doing. Have we consoled you a bit? Have we offered you alternatives to what you thought you were going to get? Will yeah, you, you have, actually. You I've, never, I've never heard about that. Yeah, so it's something worth trying. Maybe. Mm. Where, can you, where can you get a roller like that? Well, you'd have to go to a cosmetic clinic and get, right. get a treatment. Do it properly. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it might be interesting to just show the audience and her where the incision line is for a tummy tuck, because a lot of women, I got emails that think we cut yeah. over here. So, so very, 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 quickly, very quickly, very quickly, it'll have to be so fast. Very well, well, but we don't want you to have one. No. <laughs> I want one. Actually, well, well, you it's want one. very low. It's going to be under the bikini line here, oh, so right. it's nothing here. And then we undermine all the skin up to the lower rib cage, up to here. And then we can pull down the skin. So she's she ending see. up in, in the end with one scar here yeah. and a little one around the belly button. The choice, Malika, is yours. My thanks oh, to Malika okay. for being kind enough to bear, well, not all, but almost all for us. <laughs> Hopefully our team have given you some helpful hints. Remember, plastic surgery is a last resort. Talk to your GP first and do your research. Our doctors will be back again later in the show with an open clinic. So if you have any medical woes you'd like answering, send your questions to alan at itv.com or visit our Facebook page. Thank you very much indeed.